Uh, my name is Ben Beckwith, um, and today we're going to tie a fantastic, very, very famous uh, Stillwater and Rose Var nymph. It's called the Dowback. Now, this fly has endless variations. It's just a really, really simple yet a very effective fly to tie. So, all we're going to need today is some thin black thread, some furnace cock hackle, some gold holographic ribbing material, peacock curl. Jungle cock, which is very important for the cheeks, so adds that little bit extra to the fly, and of course, glow bright number four to finish off the head with a nice bit of spice. Hook fly hook and device is just a bog standard wet fly size 10. You can tie these in 10s, 12s, 14s, any size you like, depending on the fishing. So, we're going to start the fly off just at the head, touching turns. Gonna go down to the point of the hook, trim up your waist. Now, with your cock hackle, what I like to do is just pull the fibres down to about 90 degrees off the stem, pinch, and gently tear down. And that will just light up all your tips quite very, very nicely. Then, for the length, what I like to do is measure about the shank of the hook, pinch loop and gently pull down. It's going to do two turns. Then we'll grab your rib. This is fine gold holographic tinsel. And you can use medium, but I like fine for these sort of flies. Again, just two turns. You don't want to build too much bulk up at the back of the fly. Now for your peacock. Just two little fire strands. And you tear them down. Now I like tying from the tips, because at the tips you've got shorter fibres. If you tie from the back at the back, you get a body that tapers to the front rather than backwards. So you're just going to snip off the tips because they're a bit weak. Just tie them in. Nice, there we go. We have touching turns all the way to the front of the fly. Lovely. And we have a tiny bit of super glue just to secure that down and make the fly last a little bit longer. Only a tiny bit, you don't need much at all. Some people put a lot on, you only need a tiny, tiny bit. Get your peacock curl, going to wrap this towards you. This must be very important, which I'll say why in a minute. And that super glue will just fasten it down and keep it nice and locked in tight. Cut about two or three mil from the head. Cross over, three turns behind, one in front, and just gently break those off. Now with your rib, because you wrap your peacock held towards you, you're gonna wrap the rib the opposite way. Now this will lock peacock curl and make it again more durable but also allow you to see the rib a little bit better. Two turns, pull it all back, a few turns and then trim off your rib. Now what I like to do before I tie in the throat hackle is just do a single turn whip finish. Now what this allows me to do is it locks in all those fibres. Now if you knock your bobbin what will happen is it'll all come loose and your hackle and your body and your rib will all fall off and you don't want that to happen. Now for your throat, again 90 degrees off the stem, same amount of fibres, pinch and pull. Just going to line that up just to the end of the body. You're going to pinch, pull up, do a couple of tight turns, there we go. and then trim off your waist. Okay. Now I like to add jungle cock cheeks. Now the reason I do this is it can neaten out your head and it also adds another dimension to your fly that fish seem to really, really like. So what you do is you get your feather, I'll just quickly show you now. You select the feather that you'd like to use, like this. 
And all you do is just pull away all these short fibers, okay? Just like that. And I'll show you when I prepared earlier. So I did this one earlier, and you can see that all the fibers are stripped. What you can do is just gonna gently place this on top. And where it's got the split down the middle, just gonna do some gentle turns over the top. Make sure it's lining up properly. Yep. And you're gonna come up and just trim that all off. Lovely. And there's your fly. Nice whip finish. Now, you can leave it like that. You put a bit of super glue with a varnish on just to secure it. But what I like to do is add a little bit of colour to the head. With your glow bright, just going to come in and just do a few turns to get a nice bright head on the fly. And again, whip finish. Trim off your waist. Trim off your tag. Bit of super glue just to secure it all. Nice and not too much, just enough to cover the head. And what I sometimes do is cover the whole eye as well, just to make sure every little nook and cranny is fastened. And what you can do then is with your waist peacock curl from earlier you just pop it through the eye and that will clean out your super glue and there's your gold holographic dial back